ignore that shit. It's it's a mess, I know. <laughs> Hi, hey, hello, what is up everybody? My name is Glitz and Kim and welcome to my hooligan ass channel. It's been like a fat fucking minute since I filmed. So this feels very weird right now. I feel like I say that every single time I film now. I'm back here with a, a I don't want to say small because it's definitely not small, but I got a decent sized haul to share with you guys from Bath and Body Works. I have not smelled the newer body care items. It's gonna be doing that for an hour. Yeah, did you just now see that? An hour-long hot-ass bath. Bro! Yeah. She's just like me, for real. She is just like you. This is a very collective haul. This is stuff that I got from, like, a little... Like, when semi-annual was just starting to phase out, you know? This is, like, the starting point of all these products that I've gotten. And then I literally shopped yesterday. So, you're gonna see a whole conglomerate of new and older stuff for this haul. So, yeah, just bear with me. I know I'm a little late on some things, but we're gonna get to it, okay? The only thing that isn't gonna make it in this video is the new online exclusive body care. I will talk about those probably either in a short video or I'll just just make a community post about it but we'll see we'll see I'm very excited for those two if you didn't already know Bath & Body Works released two whole new online exclusive fragrances if you were a fan of iced lemon pound cake of that candle that came out last year I was a big ass fan of that fragrance I loved it so much and they brought that fragrance out in body care as an online exclusive so y'all need to run and grab that really quick okay run and grab that real quick especially during this buy three get three free especially if you have a coupon that is a really good deal or especially if you have rewards go with nab that shit right now there's also another fragrance i don't remember what it's called but it has notes of like raspberry some floral note i think it's rose specifically and then bunt cake i think was the specific cake note that they were using in it but that sounded very interesting it's giving me like pink petal tea cake type vibes but with extra berry so i got that you know i'm gonna try it out i got one of everything except for the lotions i got the body creams instead and i got two of each spray so that's gonna be coming in soon and yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So th those are going to be the only things that I recently purchased that will not be in today's video. But yeah, let's go on ahead and talk about all this shit that I got for y'all. These, I've noticed like even though they're not promoting semi-annual sale anymore, they will still have like an entire fixture full of semi-annual sale items like after that phase out period. And I just so happened to find a couple of lingering items that were chilling for 75% off. So the first thing I wanted to go on ahead and show you guys was I picked up three of the fairy tale fine fragrance mists. I was not happy about them phasing this out. I thought they were gonna discontinue this, but it's now an online exclusive for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. This has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. This is one of my favorite fragrances. It is a lot of people's favorite fragrances. I stocked up on as much fairy tale items that I could during this most recent sale because this is one of my signature fragrances. This is such a really nice fragrance that I gravitate towards pretty frequently. And I've emptied a couple items of Fairy Tale, so I use it. So I got a lot of it while I could. Ugh, it just smells so beautiful. This is apparently a dupe of YSL Lieb or Libre. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's either the original or the intense version that this is more similar to. I'm not quite sure because I haven't smelled either or of the, the YSL perfumes. So I don't know for sure, but I've heard a lot of comparisons of the two. And you know, if it's a dupe, of something that I could get for cheaper. I'm gonna get the dupe. Ah! <laughs> this shit got on my mouth, bro. <laughs> and then the one other item that I picked off, pick, pick, picked up. <laughs> 75% off was an additional strawberry snowflakes fine for fragrance mist. It has notes of juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. I think this is like my fourth spray that I picked up and don't regret it because it smells fucking amazing. Just smells like freshly made strawberry whipped cream. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> so then up next, I actually redeemed a reward on this little guy. It is a shine bright cute little gift set. It has the Into the Night Five Fragrance Mist, Into the Night Body Cream, and Hand Sanitizer, and it's all mini stuff, obviously. I needed to get myself a cute little Into the Night travel duo, travel anything for my purse because I have been loving and fiending for this fragrance for the past couple of weeks so i just needed her in my purse she's gonna go into my rotation next i have a mini fairy tale in my purse right now so yeah then up and next i got this 
This is such a cute bag. I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I got it. It's cute. There was also a blue one. I almost got the blue one. If they still have the blue one, I might still get it. But if not, I'm not that worried about it. But I had to get the pink one. And this is like... It's a vinyl material. Yeah, it's cute. I love it. And then I have a whole bunch of shit in here. My hair looks atrocious today. I don't know what's going on with it. I tried so hard today to make it look nice and just just not want to. Like, it's just a bad hair day. And of course, I'm filming on my bad hair day. I don't know what to do with it. But... You know the vibes. The first thing that is in this bag, I got the Black Cherry Merlot Bar Soap. I redeemed this as one of the travel size item coupons that you could get for $8.95 or something like that. This is the only body care item that they have in Black Cherry Merlot. I was fiending for this fragrance specifically to put together for a routine, for a fragrance routine that I'm going to showcase here soon in a video for you guys. I actually have two videos full of fragrance combination routines that I'm going to put together for y'all for the springtime and I did use this in one of those routines but I'm probably gonna switch it out with something else because I did not get any fragrance with this sadly I have used it obviously I just wanted to go ahead and talk about it real quick but even like in the packaging there's like barely any fragrance like it just smells like bar soap I do actually like the Bath and Body Works bar soap so like I don't mind it that bad but like I wanted the black cherry merlot scent in there you know so it is what it is honestly like if y'all are thinking about getting this don't get the new dove bar soap the cherry and shea milk bar soap get that one instead that one actually has fragrance that projects and smells better yeah I'm glad I got this for free <laughs> speaking while we're on bar soaps I did have to make sure to get the instant the night bar soap because I just love her her so much i think i paid i either paid for this with a coupon or i redeemed this for free i can't quite remember how i went along with this but she better smell good i know she's gonna smell good but it's like is there gonna be scent in this but i love into the night so much y'all like it's crazy i've been loving her so much lately i've been pairing into the night with my i haven't i haven't shown you guys yet i'm gonna show you guys later in a community post but i was gifted two of the ysl black opium fragrances I got the, I think it's the OG, the OG Black Opium, and then the Black Opium Illicit Green. Mm, I've been pairing those two with Instant and Night. Oh, it's such a good combo. Or Midnight Amber Glow as well. The, just that that little fragrance family right there, Minna Amber Glow, Into the Night, like Opium, those are just like my go-to signature fragrances right now. They smell so good. I'm so in love with like that trio right now. Then, ooh, up next, I had to actually buy this online because this was not available in my store. I guess it just sold out that quickly. I would not be surprised if this went viral on TikTok. I got the Strawberry Pound Cake Lip Gloss. This thing is a little, little tiny. Like, I got baby-sized hands. And this is a baby size lip gloss, but it's heart shaped and it's adorable, so I got it. But look at this baby sized applicator. Like, it's so tiny. It's so little. It does not smell like strawberry pancake either. It just smells like strawberry syrup for like a soda or like maybe strawberry jam filling. It just smells like strawberry. There's, not, there's no gourmand bakery note in here. Yeah, she's cute. I had to get her just because she's cute. To be honest up and next i got this this little guy she's a little she's a little crusty right now she's been sitting around collecting dust not gonna lie but the gummy bear went viral on tiktok at one point it was sold out online first and then it sold out in a store and i put only this for a bopus order because sometimes they be lying to you when it says available you know y'all know how it is and so when i saw that it was only available in store kind of had my expectations on the low you know i was about to say it's about to get canceled because they probably ain't gonna have it they had it what's that oh <gasps> wait oh let me see let me see that shit <laughs> banana banana cream pie i've been literally wanting a banana cream pie fragrance for so long are you joking i'm getting that shit bubble gum killer surprise cotton candy caramel apple and funnel cake bitch are you still recording yeah <laughs> Oh my god! Banana cream pie, bitch. Banana cream pie, the cotton candy, caramel apple, and funnel cake. Oh my god, like that is festival food in one bottle. Egg ray gun, bitch. Okay, slight intermission. I gotta show you guys these. I have not talked about them yet on my uh, 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 YouTube. I need to. Them twisted allure. If y'all don't go and shop for them right fucking now. Right fucking now. Twisted allure is the fucking best. Anyway. Look, look, Twisted Alert, they're having an Easter collection drop this Sunday, and I think maybe even the Sunday after next, because I've noticed that, like, what the fuck? I've noticed they do, like, a big, like, gift set drop, and then the week after, they do, like, individual drops, so fuck off. Um, but look. 
Their packaging is so cute. And banana cream pie. Are you joking? I need to get that. I've been wanting a banana cream pie fragrance. I literally have a video idea in the archives where it's literally called fragrances that I want to see from Bath and Body Works. And a banana cream pie fragrance was on that fucking list. I need to, I have so many videos that I need to sit down and just record, but I just haven't. But I'm just giving you all the tea right now. But banana cream pie, I need that shit. Bubble gum. Look how cute. <laughs> and the floppy the clown is cotton candy caramel apple and funnel cake look oh my god banana cream pie hand soap bitch i want everything like literally i will drop 500 dollars on you guys for no reason like give me this shit oh my god i want everything from them oh y'all oh my god i want everything why did you show me this <laughs> i don't know oh and look oh and look they have a sugar cookie body butter coming out as well too. Like, I want it all, bitch. Okay, let me stop. Let, let's get back to the OG video, okay? Yeah, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we were talking about the gummy bear. I got her, that's all that matters. That's what I was trying to pretty much get to, but the gummy bear, she's really, really adorable. Really cute. She was only like $5 too, so she's still available, and y'all haven't got her. Y'all need to get her. The hesitizer that's in here is the wild berry lemonade. I'm not gonna take that out because it's a whole bitch and I have to get it out, but I do have another one I can show y'all. This smells fucking bomb. Like, this smells amazing. This literally smells like a wild... The sticker isn't centered. It literally smells like strawberry lemonade. It just smells so good. And then I also picked up three of the Among the Clouds sensitizers as well. All right, so I got two of the Wildberry lemonade and then three of the Among the Clouds because it was a five for eight combination deal. That's just their everyday deal that they have for the sensitizers. I should have gotten a third Wildberry lemonade instead of getting a third Among the Clouds because I prefer watermelon lemonade or the 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 the, the, the berry the Wildberry lemonade. The Among the Clouds. We're gonna get into her in a sec. We'll talk about her in a sec. I did pick up a couple of perfume pens throughout these last couple of weeks. So first up, I got Instant the Night. I think this is my second and or third backup of Instant the Night in the perfume spray. I don't remember 100%, but I know for sure this is not my first one. <laughs> and then I did also get Dream Bright. Dream Bright, she smells pretty. Like, she's a really pretty, dark, berry, perfumey scent. She's good. I feel like she's not like, uh, she's all reliable, but she's not all backup -able, if that makes any sense. Not for me, at least. It smells like some sort of mixture between... It kind of gives me, like, Starlit Night vibes a little bit, though, because it has a very perfumey, powdery, dark note in there. But it smells really, really nice. Mm, mm hmm That's really pretty. And last but not least is going to be good old Coco Paradise. Y'all, I don't, I don't like her. I had high hopes for her because I love me some coconut. Y'all know this. I love coconut fragrances. This is just not something that I enjoy very much. I had high hopes that I would, but I took a sniff of it and I was very quickly disappointed. The notes are not on here, but I know it's got like salted manoy, I think orange blossom or something or another similar to that and then coconut when i first smelled this i immediately got flashbacks to when we had that copper coconut sands and that literally it literally smells exactly like it off of scent memory minus it's not nearly as heavy on the woodsy note this the coco paradise is not nearly as heavy on the woodsy note maybe it has a little extra sprinkle of coconut this is giving me bronze coconut vibes from victoria's secret pink and if y'all know i have emptied that fragrance out before and i did not enjoy Enjoy that fragrance i just something about these super super bronzy tanning lotion sunscreen super summery sandy warm super summery like super 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 summery coconut fragrances like this i'm just not a fan of i like more so my fresh fruity or sweet gourmand coconuts this and it's not mixing well with my body chemistry either it's starting to turn a little rancid on my skin maybe she don't like me back <laughs> I, that's not a fragrance that I enjoy. I'm so glad that I only got the perfume pen because I was about to go out and get the whole set. Pretty much, I feel like if you have a lot of copper coconut sands from last year, you definitely don't need to get your hands on the Coco Paradise. So up next, I do want to go on ahead and talk about some of the one-offs that I got. So first thing I'm going to go on ahead and show you guys is the Fiji Sunshine and the Five Fragrance Mist. I only picked up the Five Fragrance Mist. This has notes of Sunkissed, Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. Y'all, something about this 
this is just smelling so good this year it smells like just very juicy sweet candy and considering i have so many candy and drink inspired fragrance routines that i want to share with you guys sometime soon i definitely foresee myself using this in the future in one of those combinations so i just went on ahead and got it for the sake of that it smells so good <laughs> then up next i went on ahead and got myself a little backup of pink pineapple sunrise in the fun fragrance mist from this year i don't think i have more than one fun fragrance mist in this fragrance so i just went on ahead and picked up a backup i can't believe i didn't get a backup last year this has notes of a sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun drenched nectar i highly recommend this fragrance it smells really fantastic straight up they squeezed out all the juices of a pineapple and just put it in this bottle that's what it smells like it smells like fresh cut juicy pineapple mm, it is so good mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Amazing. I did redeem a free wallflower. I don't really use wallflowers all that much like that anymore. I'm just a candle person. Like, I don't like wallflowers that much. I don't know why I keep getting them. Next time I get, wall like, free wallflower coupons, I'm just gonna give them out. Because I don't use wallflowers like this. But if there was gonna be a wallflower I was gonna get, it was definitely gonna be golden honeycomb. Because this smells so good. This has notes of savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. It literally, it just smells more so like a butterscotch and vanilla than it does honeycomb. Um, they could have definitely amped up the honey in that. I feel like the name isn't like 100% accurate, you know? It could have been like golden honeycomb and vanilla or sweet golden honeycomb or just sweet honeycomb, something like that because it's very, very, very sweet gourmandish, you know? Like it's so syrupy sweet in a way. Like it just smells that sweet, sugary good, you know? It does not smell like savory honeycomb, like how you would think. But I'm not complaining because it smells good either way. But yeah. And then up next, I went on ahead and picked up the Into the Night body lotion. I am literally one use away from using my one and only body cream that I have. But I did notice that the body cream fragrance, because it is so old, it did kind of change the fragrance a little bit. I feel like the patchouli got much stronger throughout its growth throughout it getting older. I didn't want to have to deal with that again, so I just went on ahead and got the lotion instead. See if that treats me a little bit better. <sighs> I love it tonight so much. Like, she's so good. This has raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, cream patchouli, and mocha musk. I just love this fragrance so much. Like, I can never get tired of her. Mm. So, went ahead and got a cute little re-up of Into the Night, and I love the packaging. So witchy, I love it. And then last but not least for these like random one-offs, I did pick up a Smooth Amber from the men's line. I'm not sure if they still have this. I feel like I haven't seen this in a while, or I just haven't paid attention to any of the older products that they have. As of late, older, this isn't even that old. This is the Smooth Amber fragrance. It has warm amber, dried woods, and neroli. I have used this once, and it smells so good. I know it's like supposed to be amber fragrance, but this smells very leathery. Like it smells like a vintage leather chair that's been well taken care of. It smells really good. <laughs> Here is that. Okay, so up next I did- why am I so fucking close? Hello? Bitch, just as far as it goes? Okay, Jesus. So up next, I did pick up just a couple of hand soaps. So let me go on ahead and show y'all those. First up, I got this You're Out of This World Cosmic Berry Hand Soap. This has notes of galactic raspberries, tangy tangerine, and lemon. It smells fucking amazing. But I feel like this is just a repackage of raspberry tangerine. No. What is up with me and getting shit on my face? Yeah, it literally smells like raspberry tangerine. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a repackage of that, but I'm not complaining because raspberry tangerine really smells really good. So, and then I also picked up a sprinkled with love, a sprinkled donut. Is this the exact same sprinkled donut that we had that one time that I said I wouldn't get again? And here am I getting it again? Oh, bitch, I think it is because it has buttercream milk and sweet vanilla. And I specifically remember the milk note in here. This ain't gonna have no fragrance to it. <laughs> Bitch, yeah, what the fuck? Why did I get this? I'm so mad at myself right now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm pretty sure I got it on sale anyway, so it's okay. It's whatever. It's gonna get used up either way, but like, why did I do that to myself? <laughs> <laughs> Here's actually a fucking hand soap that I'm obsessed with right now. Radiant Sky, y'all, is so good. This smells so amazing, y'all. This has Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. My household has already used up an entire hand soap of this because it smells so fucking amazing. We had it in, in the bathroom for like three weeks. So we only have one bathroom. And usually it takes us like a month, month and a half to 
use up an entire hand soap. At Bath & Body Works hand soap specifically, for some reason we have multiples of hand soaps that we use in rotation at once. I don't know why they do that. I have 50 fucking hand soaps. Like, we don't need to do that. We gotta use these up first. It is, it is what it is. So it takes us like a while to use our hand soaps, but we use this one up in three weeks. So, yeah, this smells fucking amazing. Like... It smells so good. I picked this up literally yesterday. I had a $3 gel hand soap coupon, so I just went on ahead and redeemed that for this. And I was gonna get it on Good Old Reliable, Radiant Sky. She smells so good. Like, number one hand soap recommendation that's out there right now, get this, y'all. Radiant Sky, get this. It smells like the epitome of a fruity, summery fragrance. It is so good. So then up next, I actually got a whole bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine sets of fragrances that I need to share with you guys. <laughs> Why am I like this? I got nine whole sets. All right, so first up, I got I got the Sun Blooms and Suede fragrance. I got the shower gel as well as the lotion. And then I picked up two of the sprays. I am actually thinking of returning one of the sprays. This will be the one that I will return because I haven't used this one. This has notes of white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. Based off of the notes, I was like really here for it. And there was a time when I smelled it a while ago where I was like, yeah, this smells fucking good. Like, that smells really good good i want that but i have worn it i don't know if you could tell from the lotion i have worn it and this turns out to be super 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 suedeish masculine on my skin i don't know why usually with fragrances that have a vanilla note my skin brings out a lot more of the vanilla but this one is really bringing out i guess the pink petals note in here because it just smells so suede like when i would smell it without spraying it on me all i got was like the sun blooms part it smelled very fruity very sweet I go to spray and use it on myself and I just bring out like all suede and I don't know why but like I'm gonna just use out what I have used already which is all of these the spray shower gel and lotion and then I'm gonna return that one extra spray that I got because I picked up two during a, a spray sale and I was like let me get two of those because at that time I thought I liked it but now of course I, I'm not in love with it as much as I thought I was so yeah that's probably gonna get thrown into a project use it up here sometime soon so I went on ahead and picked up the one and only among the clouds i got the shower gel i got the body cream this set is so beautiful this fragrance is beautiful like look at that y'all here's the spray i feel like we should have gotten a pink lid like the lid itself should have been pink but i got two of the sprays this has notes of Walberry Skies and Whip Vanilla Clouds. I have not used this set yet. I do plan on doing so here pretty soon. But this does not smell like what you would expect. In my last video, was it my summer annual sale video that I talked about it? I still stand on what I said about how it smelled. It does not smell like boardwalk taffy or cotton candy clouds or anything like that whatsoever. Now there's some more berry in the shower gel. This almost smells like grape in the shower gel. Okay, that's weird. I did, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did mostly pick up these because of the packaging the packaging is just so beautiful okay i want this in my scrapbook also i'd be customizing my collection so what's this is up i'm gonna take this and put it on something else this does not smell like what you would think this does not smell like boardwalk taffy it does not smell like cotton kitty clouds it does it's not a gourmand fragrance whatsoever i've heard people say that it does smell exactly like that but i just completely disagree it does not smell anything like boardwalk taffy or cotton candy clouds or anything like that because it just is not gourmand or cotton candy ish whatsoever it smells like it just smells like fresh like maybe like a berry seltzer water with a hint the tiniest hint of like sugar sweetness it's not gourmand it is a little sweet but it's in a fresh aquatic type of sweet like sweet water i think this would be like a really nice spring fragrance for when you're just looking to chill like this is this is just a chill spring fragrance among the clouds it literally oh my god i'm throwing shit now it literally just smells like berry condensation or some shit like that like what i said in that one video i'm pretty sure it was my semi annual sale haul but it just smells fresh a fresh berry watery fragrance that's really all i've got to say about this it does smell nice though like i'll probably keep both of the body sprays i'm here for it i guess it smells nice it's just it's just conflicting it does not smell like how i wanted it to if that makes sense i honestly i would not be mad if this was a boardwalk taffy repackage because i love boardwalk taffy especially since we got a full-sized full-blown perfume in this fragrance that i do actually plan on getting not gonna lie it just wasn't what i wanted it to be if that makes any sense so i don't think she's what she wants to be either to be honest 
free my girl among the clouds. <laughs> Up and next, I did go on ahead and pick up a entire full backup set of Pastel Skies. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, it was because of the packaging. I just thought it was so damn cute. Like, look at that shower gel, dude. That shit is so cute. Honestly, the lotion, it looked cuter online. Because something about them diamonds right there just look uh very off to me. It is what it is, you know. So I did get a full set of Pastel Skies. The packaging is just so fucking gorgeous. Like, are you joking? They're doing all types of, like, really cute pastel pink vibes all over the place. Like, I love it. <laughs> is that all I got? Damn. As y'all saw, I got the mist, the lotion, and the shower gel. I really did not need any of this because I have, like... I think a couple backups of just about everything in Pastel Skies that I picked up last year. To be honest though, the packaging last year was prettier, but like, I also wanted this packaging because it's just so cute as well. Pastel Skies has a soft cloud berries, a pink sponge sugar, and a coconut musk. This smells so good, y'all. I forgot how good Pastel Skies smelled. It literally smells like boardwalk taffy, kind of candy clouds, but with that really nice, fresh, almost powdery coconut note in there. <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like a coconut cloud. A coconut cotton candy cloud. Like, oh, it smells so good. I might have to wear this here soon because, yeah, that smells really nice. Pesto Skies is really good. Then up next, I don't know why they're having all like the really fun, cute, amazing fragrances be as online exclusives now. It's annoying. Stop it. But the next fragrance set that I got is going to be a whole new set of <laughs> Tutti Frutti Candy. Tutti Frutti Candy, bitch! Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti. I love this fragrance. I got the mist. I got the shower gel. And I got the body cream. This packaging is adorable. That's why I had to get it. Y'all, I'm a packaging junkie. I'm not even gonna try to deny it no more. This has a sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. I did low-key also get this entire set because I didn't get a body cream last year for some reason. I think I, I think it sold out just that quickly. The body cream specifically for some reason just sold out like it was nothing. I didn't get a chance to get the body cream. So I had to go on ahead and get this. And I thought if I'm just gonna get the body cream, I might as well just get all the rest of the set so yeah that's what i ended up doing just means i can use my older set now <laughs> but literally it smells like an entire hodgepodge of jelly beans it smells really good but it also does at the same time smell like champagne toast that may be more sugary sweet it smells really good though like regardless i love it then up next i'm kind of debating on returning this because i don't see myself willingly using this up all the way <laughs> but i got it regardless i got it because the packaging got me and that is good old beautiful day a lot of people love this fragrance i actually used to love this fragrance back in the day when it was i used to really like it when i was younger but now it's definitely not something that i enjoy anymore this has sun-kissed apple sparkling castus wild daisies pink peony and fresh woods mm, i'm not a big fan of apple fragrances why did i say apple like that i'm not a big fan of apple fragrances i very much heavily smell like that fresh cut juicy apple fragrance it's just fresh aquatic is like that one fragrance family that i just cannot get with aquatic fragrances in general i'm not a big fan of and this smells very like super subtly fruity heavy fresh heavy aquatic you know and, and you yeah, know it's just it's just not all that much of a fragrance that i enjoy anymore but i got the spray and i got the shower gel i did not get the lotion because i had a feeling that i wasn't gonna love it and plus like if i do end up wearing this all the way through i'm sure i could just pair it with a fragrance free lotion and be okay i honestly had to get it because the packaging was just so gorgeous and i wanted to keep the lid and then put the stickers in my project my project put it in my empty scrapbook <sighs> there's almost like a spice like, there's a super herbal spice, you know, in a way. I wonder if that's, like, the cassis. Or maybe the woods. It's probably the woods. Yeah, it's just way too aquatic, fresh for me. I love my laundry fresh fragrances. I don't like watery fresh fragrances. Ooh, y'all. So, I've been waiting very patiently to record this video in order to actually show how I feel about this fragrance. So, I have not smelled this yet. I've been wanting to for the past, like, two weeks or something. I got this... A a while ago this is the fresh jungle rain i did get a full set of it i got 
got this spray and I got the shower gel and I also got body cream as well. This scented interesting to say the least. Like this has notes of rankest palm, Amazon dragon fruit, and misty breeze. We haven't had a dragon fruit fragrance, so I was like, I want that. So let's let, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm scared. I don't want to breathe until I bring it up to my nose. <laughs> okay, okay. I hope, I hope it should be good now. That smells like coconut. Huh, what? This was like coconut water. Hold on. Let me. I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna spray this on my on my skin real quick. Hold on. This smells good. Like, don't get me wrong. This smells good, but this does not smell like what I wanted it to. It smells like super fresh, fruity coconut water. Like it's fresh and fruity, but it's in a watery, fruity type of way. Like it straight up smells like coconut milk, like freshly cracked open coconut, coconut milk. You, you stick a straw in this shit and you're taking a sip. It smells like that. This does not smell like how I thought, how I wanted it to. Man, the, it's got palms in here. That's probably why it smells so coconutty to me. This smells so coconutty to me. Like it smells like coconut water. And then it's like disappearing so quick. Like it's barely there on my skin anymore. Damn. Let me spell the other two real quick. The shower gel smells green. The fuck? That smells green. That smells like a palm tree. This is why I waited to do a first impressions. I almost broke. I almost broke my a little promise to myself. I smelled these without having the camera on, but I'm glad that I waited till the camera was on. Put in a bit of the body cream where I sprayed. Right off the bat, the whiff that I'm getting, it smells like palm tree leaves. Oh my god, that smells like a palm tree. Ew. No. Uh-uh. The, I don't know why, but the mist smells completely different from the other two products. These two smell like trees. Palm tree notes woodsy, earthy, greenery. This smells like coconut milk. Coconut water, I mean. I don't understand. <laughs> No. Um, yeah, that's a definite return. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, no, I don't like that shit. <laughs> oh my god. We started off strong and well, and then it got ruined real quick. <laughs> right, so let's go on ahead and move on to the next one that I haven't smelled yet. God, I hope this one doesn't disappoint me. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so the next set that I picked up during that sale is good old watermelon mojito. I picked up the cream, shower gel, and the mist. So <laughs> let's see what's going on here. This one sounded so interesting. This has watermelon soda, pink rum, and cane sugar. This sounds, this sounds great. I'm scared now, y'all. Fresh jungle rain then traumatized me. <sighs> Off the bat, this one's smelling a little bit better. Yeah, that one smells pretty good. Right, I'm gonna try it on my skin real quick. It smells super bubbly. Like, that might still be like the alcohol smell being present, but it does smell super bubbly. But it does have soda in it, so that's to be expected. Ooh, that smells like a pretty girl drink. Ooh, I like this one so much better. Yeah, that one smells so much better. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that one That one smells really good. It just smells like watermelon seltzer, pretty much. Like it's bubbly, it's fresh and watermelony, but it's not like too fresh. It smells like that perfect in between is sweet and fresh watermelon. Yeah, this is nice. I like it, I like this. I'm gonna try the body cream real quick. That smells so nice. Like, this smells like a pretty girl drink. <laughs> like a watermelon pretty girl drink, you know? That smells nice. Okay. I like this. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Okay, that one. I like that one. I like that one. And I'm not too big of a fan of watermelon fragrances. I have been liking them a little bit more lately, though. She's a winner. She's a winner. I like her. I definitely am more so of a fan of the... 
pink watermelon blast from last year that one watermelon candy anything that's candy gourmand foodie sweet bakery is already immediately just a win for me because i just love all my foodie gourmand fragrances so much but this is a nice like drink watermelon seltzer type of fragrance it's fresh yet sweet at the same time it is that perfect in between of pink watermelon and pink watermelon blast it's got that sweetness from the pink watermelon blast but it's still pretty fresh in comparison to pink watermelon blast so that's why it's a little bit reminiscent of just the normal pink watermelon yeah this is nice I would have preferred to have this in the candle in comparison to that watermelon mint fragrance that they have right now. That one smells nasty. I did not like that one. Yeah, I like this. This is really good. This is really good. I like it. I actually like it so much more. I was expecting this. I knew this was going to be aquatic, but I wanted it to be like a sweet aquatic. I wanted it to be like dragon fruit water some way somehow that's what i wanted i wanted it to be a soft aquatic dragon fruit water but that's not that this is more so that but it's watermelon it's a dragon fruit you know what i mean this one's really nice okay i like this one last but not least for the ones that i have not smelled yet i'm hoping this one's my favorite out of the three the golden mango lagoon and of course i got the spray i got the body cream and i did also of course pick up the shower gel. This has notes of sunny mango, salt water woods, and coral blooms. Y'all, I've been craving missing mango mai tai like crazy and i feel like this is this is literally it this is literally the closest thing that i'm gonna get to her for right now. But i just i miss mango mai tai. We need mango mai tai back. smells good this smells like a freshly sliced mango this kind of you know what no this smells like a mixture between that sunny peach berry fragrance and mango mai tai yeah this is giving me snowy peach berry elements a little bit like it has that note to it but like mango like mango sunny peach snow sunny snowy peach <laughs> mango and snowy peach berry is what i'm picking up from this fragrance it smells pretty good but like now that i smell the snowy peach berry i'm kind of like a little disappointed by it because i don't like snowy peach berry let's try the others let's try the others <sighs> the shower gel smells a lot better yeah the shower gel smells even more mingoey it smells so good yeah the shower gel shower gel smells good and then let's try the body cream real quick oh the body cream smells really good that smells like the shower gel even more mango-y but it smells extra sweet there's a little bit extra sugary sweetness in the mango in here in the body cream but it also could be my skin chemistry because my skin chemistry does bring out a lot more sweetness and fragrances that smells good okay the spray is my least favorite, unfortunately, but overall, I like the fragrance. I like it. Definitely returning that bitch as a fresh jungle rain though. Like, goodbye to her. Farewell, bitch. <laughs> then, last but not least for the body care. So, I did go on ahead and also pick up the rose and vanilla fragrance. I don't know why I got this because I don't like rose fragrances and this straight up smells like rose, unfortunately. I was hoping for so much more vanilla. But I don't know what I was thinking because it's literally aromatherapy. And even if something says vanilla, it's not, you're not going to detect that vanilla whatsoever. <laughs> I do plan on using up the spray. I might end up returning the lotion because I probably will not use this, unfortunately. I think I have already used the body cream. I have used, I know for sure I have used, oh, oh my god, I'm forgetting the shower gel. I got the shower gel. Where did I put it? It might still be in the, oh, no. Here it is. Yeah, I also picked up the shower gel. I have already used it. I do plan on throwing this into a shower routine combination video thing that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to keep this, of course, because I've already used it. And I don't want it to go to waste. But I have not used the lotion for sure. I don't know if I have used the body cream yet. I don't think I have. But I might end up returning these two. But keeping the spray. Because I see myself liking this on my linens and stuff. And these are so good for spraying your linens. I was kind of disappointed by this fragrance, unfortunately. I need to stop getting online exclusives. Because like half the time I don't like them. 
<laughs> but it is what it is so yeah but like honestly i did kind of also get this because the packaging is cute yeah that was it for the body care so now let's go on ahead and talk about some candles so i lied i completely forgot that i actually did pick up a couple of perfumes over the past couple of weeks and um let me go on ahead and show you guys i did pick up the beautiful dream bright perfume i just had to this shit is beautiful. This has notes of sapphire berries, a night blooming orchid, and a crystallized vanilla. Look how beautiful this bottle is. It's so gorgeous, bro. And this is like a hefty looking bottle. Like I'm pretty sure it's just like maybe 3.4 ounces. Yep. 3.4 ounces. And it's in this gorgeous opaque bottle with a cute little gem diamond lid. Ah, this looks like probably their most luxurious perfume that they've came out with yet. I had to get this because this does, uh, this smells beautiful. I love this fragrance. I feel like I even like underappreciate it a little bit too, but you know, I have so many fragrances in my collection. I feel like all of them get a little underappreciated here and there, but <sighs> this is a really nice fragrance. Mm, this smells beautiful. So I had to get the perfume in that. I love it. Then last but not least, finally for the body care, I did go on ahead and pick up Miss Champagne Toast and the perfume because I'm crazy and I know people were gonna sell this out so i got this shortly after its release <laughs> the inside cardboard is pink look how cute that is and then it's just a little something something right there fruity sweet fruity fruity sweet sparkling i was like what is that last word and then is she is just simply in the og bath and body works perfume style bottle but here she is she's cute i feel like we should have gotten a pink lid but it's okay we all know champagne toast we all know we all know champagne toast but she has bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine since this does have such a similar like scent profile to tutti frutti candy what if i do a little mm-mm mm-mm mm-hmm moment you know this would be such a good this is this is this is obviously an everyday year-round type of fragrance but champagne toast specifically in the spring is where she thrives and i do actually plan on using this in one of the fragrance combinations that i have in said videos coming hopefully soon so yeah and now let's go on ahead and talk about some candles so the one and only single wick that i've picked up recently is the matching inspire love rose and vanilla fragrance to go with the body care that i got i only got this because i'm dumb for some reason like i don't know why i got this actually i just thought it was cute and i thought i was gonna love this fragrance for some reason even though it's rose but i am still gonna end up using this some way somehow especially i think i'm actually gonna feature this as a candle in one of my fragrance combination videos so up next i did actually pick up quite a few candles yesterday let me just go on ahead and talk about these real quick because i know this whole video but feel like i have to throw up are you serious yeah feeling great why do i do this to myself so fun fact i actually threw up later that night <laughs> first up let me just go on ahead and talk about these because i know y'all are like, this is the, the it item that's going on right now. So, I did pick up a total of three of the brand new limited edition PBJ ice cream candles. I got three total. I did not, unfortunately, get the limoncello and unicorn sprinkles. But it's completely okay because I felt like if I were to get one of these fragrances, it was definitely for sure going to be this one. I was not about to be without this one. The limoncello one, they both sold out so fucking quick. I was lucky enough to to even get the three of the peanut butter peanut butter and jake p 
peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jelly ice cream candles that I did and I'm getting. There is another drop that's coming out pretty soon. I think it's the first week of April. It's April 4th, 5th, or 6th, somewhere around that time frame. There's a rose water and ivy and vanilla bean one that's coming out for that week. And then there's going to be mint chocolate chip ice cream that's coming out. I'm for sure getting that mint one. I'm not playing around with that mint one. I've been wanting a mint chocolate ice cream fragrance for a while. They haven't brought that shit out in a minute. Run it up. Run it up. I'm getting that shit. I'm getting three of those as well. Hey, I'm not playing with that one. I would have to smell the rose water and ivy one. I'm probably not gonna like it because I don't like rose water and ivy, but we'll see. I for sure at least like if it's if it's gonna be the mint one or the rose one, I'm getting the mint one. Same situation with the peanut butter and jelly and the limoncello. I went for the peanut butter and jelly. Let's go on ahead and talk about Miss peanut butter and jelly ice cream this has the notes of raspberry jelly vanilla ice cream and peanut butter sauce i'm not gonna lie to y'all this smells almost this smells like identical to a berry jam donut unfortunately i don't pick up or detect any type of peanut butter note in there whatsoever and honestly i like don't even get vanilla ice cream in there whatsoever it just smells like raspberry jam donut it smells like raspberry jelly it does smell good though <laughs> it does smell so good though i'm not gonna lie it smells pretty damn good let me activate the wax real quick let me see if that i have a do not burn one. Oh, it's this one okay so yeah i'll rub this one yeah it just smells identical to raspberry jam donut or wild wild berry jam donut unfortunately like this is not it does not smell like anything new to me i have heard people say that this smells like a concoction of wildberry jam donut and pumpkin peanut brittle but i don't detect that whatsoever however now i do kind of want to burn the little bit left of pumpkin peanut brittle that i do have with the peanut butter and jelly ice cream i do have that burning i don't know if you can see that let me see i have that burning right there yeah and even while it's burning i don't get any peanut butter whatsoever so i am thinking about using up the rest a little bit of my peanut butter or peanut Oh my god, there's so much peanut bullshit going on in my mouth right now, bro. Like, shit. <laughs> I want to get my peanut brittle. Peanut. What the fuck is the name of this shit? Fucking dick. Fucking peanut brittle. I want to use a little bit left of this to burn with the peanut butter and jelly and see if I get the peanut butter and jelly of my dreams, okay? Because I've been craving a peanut butter and jelly. And I'll just have. Yeah, oh yeah, this smells like peanut brittle, bitch. I stress myself out. Yeah, there's no peanut butter. It just smells like wild berry jam donut. But I do like that fragrance, so I'm not too mad about it. But I wanted, I was hoping this would be like the return of that one peanut butter and jelly fragrance that we had that one time in the fall a couple years ago. That's what I was hoping for. But it's not this, unfortunately. Yeah, there is that. Then I did pick up a couple of things like on top of getting the peanut butter jelly candles that I got yesterday. I picked up some classics. Went on ahead and I did pick up sun drenched linen. It's springtime. This is like the ultimate laundry springtime fragrance. So I had to get it. It has fresh linen, crisp tart apple and soft musk. I only like apple in like my just straight up fresh fragrances i don't like aquatic juicy fresh i don't like aquatic juicy apple in what what am i trying to say i don't like apple i only like apple in a fresh sense not in an aquatic sense i am having an aneurysm apparently it smells so powdery soft and clean like imagine doing a full day of laundry and then burning this oh my god a full day of cleaning and then burning this Ugh therapy and a candle this smells so nice it smells so good i love my favorite overall fragrance in the entire world just overall doesn't matter if it's body care or for home care it is clean laundry clean laundry is just it for me i love i love i love i love laundry fragrances so i love that candle <laughs> and then i also picked up another classic black cherry merlot when i first got into bath and body works when this did come out i was in love with black cherry merlot i thought it smelled amazing and then a couple of years down the road i got completely tired of it became a hater of it did not fuck with her but as of late i've been loving her all over again and so i got her black cherry merlot has notes of wild black cherries velvety red wine juicy red raspberries and bright plum she smells so juicy sweet oh my god she smells so good she, she's like a deep sweet though like she's not no champagne toast 
She's black cherry. And it smells really good. Mm. Up next, y'all, these are some fragrances I would not think I was ever gonna get, but I got them. I ended up getting them. So the first one I got is Flower Child. I guess I'm just more so of a floral fan, like during the springtime. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Flower Child has notes of white narcissus, cashmere musks, and a sweet cedarwood. I went to go smell this for the first time not too long ago, and then I looked at the notes and I was like, why do I like this? It's because of the cashmere. I love cashmere fragrances. Oh, lid check, by the way. And this just smells <sighs> so nice. This smells like the, um, the personal care body wash aisle. Like when you walk into it and you just smell all the concoctions of the soaps and stuff. That's what Flower Child smells like. <laughs> just smells very clean, fresh, soft. I like it. Then in that same candle collection, I also, I hate it. I've been a hater for this fragrance for a very long time, but lately I've been liking it for some reason. This is in the same collection, so it does have the same lid and that candle is going to be good old pink lilac and vanilla. I'm a lilac hater. I cannot stand lilac, but for some reason, this one this year smells really good. I don't, I don't know. I'm probably getting old. I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> this has fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. I'm really am hoping that the dewy green note does not come out as it comes to burn, but there's only one way to find out, huh? I just pick up this very nice, soft, powdery, floral vanilla. I get the very slightest, slightest, slightest hint of the green note, but it's not bothering me. It only appears for like two seconds on the initial whiff, and then it's gone. This smells really good right now. I don't know why. I don't, I don't get it. Up next, I picked up two of these because I'm a psychopath for this fragrance. I might get a third if it's still available. I don't remember actually seeing if it was still available. So it might be sold out. That fragrance is a good old pink lavender and espresso. This smells really damn good. This has notes of rich pink lavender caramel. They spell caramel wrong. Caramel espresso beans and smooth vanilla. This does smell so much like the lavender marshmallow fragrance. I'm sure you guys have heard that like a broken record since this candle has came out, but it does. It does smell like lavender marshmallow, but like with an extra little coffee hint in there. But it smells so good. <sighs> This smells really good. I love this one. Imagine pairing this with the pink lilac and vanilla. I feel like those two would go well. Like get a whole floral latte up in this bitch. I did pick up two of them. So, yeah, I love this one. Then up next, I did go on ahead and pick up Sunset in Maui. I am not gonna lie, I only picked up this candle because I was obsessed with the whole monochromatic look of it. I'm just a packaging junkie. But this has notes of sunkissed papaya, hibiscus flowers, and ripe pineapple. Honestly, this was the only fragrance in this entire collection that I wanted. I already have Springtime in Paris from last year, but it's not like a repeat fragrance that I would buy, you know? There was a, the blue one I did not like even. That one is a repackage of like the Sunset and Sales one. Was not a fan of that fragrance from last year, and I still don't like it this year. And then there's a orange one. Is it orange, yellow, pink? Or is it pink? It's pink. There's a pink one, a very pale pink one that is a repackage of Prosecco and Peaches. This year, that one smells like funny, so I didn't get it. So I only left this one. This is the only one that I actually like wanted that was different. But now that I'm smelling it, it smells so much like, what is it? Midnight, Midnight Blue Citrus. It's smelling an awfully lot like that right now. Did I get scammed? <laughs> it smells like Midnight Blue Citrus. And I'm mad. Fuck. I got scammed, bitch. Up next, I did, of course, pick up two of the Among the Clouds candles. I just had to. It just looks so, so, so beautiful. Like, this is so collectible. <laughs> I stress myself out. This is what happens when I don't film in a minute. I just become a clumsy, obnoxious, dumb little bitch. Anyway, this is so collectible. I love how the packaging for the candle just looks. Pink lid, gorgeous packaging, and pink wax, bitch. Are you joking? The notes are the exact same. Wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. Just smells like watered down berry juice. No vanilla. 
it is what it is at this point. Not the best fragrance, but it's cute, so I wanted it. I have one to burn, and then I'm gonna keep one for the collection. I have two of the Phil Loved 3-Bit Candles. This is the Champagne Cupcake fragrance, but it's literally just a repackage of the Sprinkled Birthday Cake fragrance. Which I'm not mad at. I love that fragrance. That is one of my favorite cake fragrance. It's probably my favorite cake fragrance, honestly, from Bath & Body Works. Oh! <coughs> One thing about this shit is the lid is flimsy as fuck, so you gotta be careful with this shit. Like, seriously, if you have a candle collection where you stack a lot of them, this one's gotta go on top, okay? Because this shit is just not stable whatsoever. Like, I could twist the lid without, like, lifting it. Like, it's just, it's that loose, you know? Mm. I love the smell of this. This has a fluffy cake, whipped vanilla frosting, and pink sprinkles. It smells like cake batter. Mm -mm -mm. That smells so good. I love that fragrance. I got one to burn and then one to keep, of course. As y'all might already know at this point, I have a pattern. <laughs> if I pick up more than two, one is for the collection. The others are for burning. Then up next, I did pick up the Happy Easter Tutti Frutti candy. I didn't pick up the sweet carrot cake for some reason. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just completely missed it, I guess. Like, I didn't pick it up for some reason. I'm so dumb. It is what it is. I did pick up at least the Tutti Frutti one. This packaging is so cute. I much prefer this packaging compared to the other one from last year. I don't know. This was just so much cuter. And look at the little bun. So cute! This has notes of sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. So good. I love the smell of Tutti Frutti candy. It's so good. Then up next, I picked up just about every fragrance in this collection other than I think one that I didn't get. I got majority of this collection and that is this cute little like spring white barn collection, I guess. I don't know the name of this collection, but I got a few of these. This is the Rose and Lychee. They've been doing so well with their lychee fragrances for this season. I so love it so much. This has notes of wild rose, sugared lychee, and delicate raspberries. This is like radiant sky, but heavy heaps of rose. But it's not like an overpowering rose water fragrance. It's a very soft, powdery rose type of fragrance. It is the most prominent fragrance in there. Both think when I say soft that it's like barely there. It's soft in how it overall projects, you know what I mean? It's not too much. It's tolerable. It smells nice. If I like a rose in a certain product, then it's like not too much rose, you know what I mean? Because I don't, I can't stand rose all that much. This does smell really nice. The lychee and the rose, they complement each other so well in a way that I didn't think that they would. Ah, this smells so good. This is a really nice like in between spring and summer fragrance. I like this one a lot. And then next up in this collection is the Yuzu in White Pineapple. This has notes of Yuzu Citrus, Tropical Pineapple, and Fresh Starfruit. This smells so good. Like this smells almost, I will, honestly, this does smell a lot like the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I was like, what is the last word in there? This smells a lot like Pink Pineapple Sunrise, but maybe not as sour. It's like softer somehow. I don't know. They smell so, so, so similar. Don't get me wrong, but there is a subtle difference between the two. And this one took me by surprise because I didn't think I would like to use it in there for some reason, but it smells so good. Last but not least, the final one that I picked up is going to be the Vanilla and Musk one. This has whipped vanilla, soft cedarwood, and suede musk. Apparently, this is a repackage of the marshmallow musk is already a repackage of something else and yeah it smells exactly like the marshmallow musk room spray i like this fragrance it smells like the most unisex fragrance there is that's still kind of like a powdery sweet it smells really good like i want my whole home this is what i want my home my signature home fragrance to be like if you were to walk into my house this is what i would want you to smell i like this it smells nice. Then up next, I picked up three total of the blueberry marshmallow bars. Seen this one and I was like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna get a few of them. <laughs> so two and then three. And again, y'all know the deal. Two to burn, one to keep for the collection. So blueberry marshmallow bar has sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. And this literally smells like a blueberry rice krispie treat. It's not too heavy of a blueberry that's in there. It's just like, the, it's a very subtle marshmallowy blueberry eat type of fragrance. It's there, but it's super subtle. But I love it. I love it. And I love the packaging on this whole collection. It's so cute. 
And then up next, I picked up two of the Golden Honeycomb Three Wicks. I love this fragrance. It smells so good. This has notes of savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. And as I said with the wallflower earlier, this does not smell super, super honey-like. It smells more so like butterscotch. But in the candle, I'm picking up more of the honeycomb, honey note in here. But it's not like, it's so vanilla up. It's so butterscotched up you know it's just barely there it's the tiniest hint of honey in there mostly vanilla and butterscotch but i'm not complaining because it smells really good then up next i picked up i did get this one on a good sale before y'all say anything i did pick up vanilla and peach tea i did pick up this expensive ass candle for some reason this one is 29.95 See, with, with the with this one, with the champagne cupcake one, I can understand this has a ceramic lid. So this does bring up the value of the price, okay? I get that. That's an obvious reason as to why there's such a big upcharge on this candle. Because this one is $32.95. But like, why is this a random ass candle? Nothing special about it. $29.95. What's the deal? I don't get it. This has notes of peach tea, sweet vanilla creme, and fresh oat milk. I don't know why, but I I have been wanting to actually get this fragrance for a while. I just never bit the bullet for the longest time. But then I seen like one of those fixed price candle sales. I think I got this for $13.95 or something like that. It was either $12.95 or $13.95. It was one of those two price points. And I was like, I'm gonna get that now that it's on sale. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells like a lesbian drink. <laughs> all, all my all my fellow gay bi girlies understand what i mean yeah it smells really good i love how it smells then up next i'm so happy they brought this out into a entire three wig this is the fresh sheets three wig i'm so happy that they brought this out y'all i know all the fresh girlies are thriving right now they really treated the fresh girlies this season because we got this we got laundry day back we got um what was the other one that i seen we got sun-drenched linen and we got a lot of others like there's hella other fresh fragrances out there right now for all my fresh girlies this season was really great to us because they brought in a lot of fresh fragrances but this is the fresh sheets fragrance this has crisp citrus clean lavender and watery apple this in comparison to the sun-drenched linen this smells a little bit more deeper slightly more masculine but it's still very powdery laundry soft I love fresh fragrances so much. Like, clean laundry is the best. And then within that similar fragrance family is good old white t-shirt, bitch. I've been waiting on them to bring out white t-shirt in a three wick, and they finally did it, and I'm so happy. The check. This has notes of crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft cedarwood. This one smells even more, this one smells brighter and more crisp sharp in a way in comparison to the linen and the fresh sheets and i'm getting more so the lavender that i'm picking up or is it the pear i can't tell i think it might be the lavender because it smells more so floral but there's like a little slight more sharp lavender note in here as well in comparison to the other two ah <sighs> i cannot wait to burn one of those fresh fragrances after i clean my entire house and then last but not least the final candle that i have picked up is going to be good old and the most beautiful radiant sky look at this packaging she is so cute this has notes of raise the sunshine golden mango and juicy lychee of course same as the soap Mm, there's extra mango in the candle like this smells like authentic mango in here like it smells like the skin of mango like i smell that flesh in there <laughs> the mango flesh in there oh this smells so good i might have to get a backup of this because this smells amazing i highly recommend raining sky y'all like i was so hoping that Fresh Jungle Rain was gonna smell something similar to Radiant Sky. Here I am, disappointed. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you guys watching and listen to me ramble and do stupid shit on camera. Yeah. <laughs> as you guys might have noticed, I haven't been shopping as crazily at Bath & Body Works as usual. And that is intentional, actually. I My goal right now is actually to kind of branch off more in to other fragrance brands or so like small businesses like twisted allure y'all i'm still i'm gonna record that video here soon and also marvelous aesthetics i really want to focus more so on like different brands other than bath and body works i really want to branch out you know talking about more so 
a lot of different brands, not just Bath and Body Works, right? That's just that on that, I guess. Yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you wash your ass. Make sure you drink some water and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! I got shit.